Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a how to draw puzzle for your kids' activity books. Now, there has been a, a major piece of software released. I'm sure you'll have all heard about it by now. A lot of the YouTube KDPs are talking about it. It's a paid for piece of software that can, it allows you to make puzzles that encourages children to draw it's two major parts that I've seen there might be more hidden behind uh, further paywalls but the two major how how to draw puzzles that it does is a one that breaks the image down into different layers so you can draw a head and then show the next step of drawing the figure which would be the hair maybe and then the arms legs body whatever the other puzzle it creates for you is a one like this where there is an image with a grid and the child has to using the grid references copy them onto the puzzle piece at the minute it costs about seventy dollars sixty five dollars and it's probably totally worth that but if you just want to make simple puzzles one or two puzzles for a book or you you, you don't want to spend you know seventy dollars then this is an ideal option for you to use. It's very simple. You can make a puzzle like this in you know, minutes. Less than five minutes. And once you've got the grid set up, then it's easy to just switch this drawn out for another one. Now, once you've got the grid set up, you can use the same grid to create you know, hundreds of different puzzles. It really is very, very simple. Now if you are interested in videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I regularly upload videos on all KDP topics, including how-to guides, income reports, niche ideas, research and things like that. That's enough waffle, on with the video. Here we are in Microsoft Publisher. The first thing to do is to drag in the image that we're going to use as the prompt for the children's puzzle. And to do that in Microsoft Publisher, it's Insert Pictures. So this is a red panda, I believe doing some exercise you can use any image you want of course and if you're going to print in black and white remember it has to be a black and white image I have made several videos showing you how you can make these images black and white which I will link in the description I'm just going to resize this to a more appropriate size although again you, you might want to have one page with the reference picture on and another page with the actual puzzle to be filled in. I'm trying to work on one page. So I'll shrink this down. The next thing to do is to drag a grid over here and for a grid we're going to use the table tool. I want the grid to be 5 by 5 so we'll have 25 squares of puzzle but then we also need a row at the top and at the side so we can put in coordinates. I'll show you what I mean. So to create a table in Publisher, insert table, so mine's going to be 6 by 6. There we go. We now have to make sure that this is square rather than rectangular. Make sure it's the right size to fit over this little gentleman there. And to do that, I'm just going to change the height and the width of the entire table. And it's just you're just going to play about and see exactly what fits best. But I will try six centimeters by six centimeters. That's probably too small. So we'll go for 8 by 8. Have a quick check. That 
that's perfect remember again we're going to have the grid reference letters and numbers in the topmost and the leftmost top row leftmost column so now we're going to get this table looking the way we want it to look and to do that we just select all of the cells go to the table design tool and use these options here so I'm going to keep the pen weight at one point the line color will remain black and the borders will be all borders so this is what it looks like now so I'll put the grid references in here so we'll let us along the top oops and numbers down the side and we will format the text position again by selecting all of that change the text size and centerize it all And again with the numbers and center so that is the basic puzzle you might want to change it ever so slightly mess get get the grid where you want it so there's a bit of the illustration in as many squares as possible and that's it for the basic puzzle key we can do more um, formatting so for this example here we could remove the top and the left border by selecting the cell we want go down to borders remove the left border and remove the top border we could also if we wanted to change the fill color of these we could change it to a grey just so it stands out a bit you change the color of the font you could also as I've just done there drag the cell divide so it, it makes these bits smaller a little tad bigger so they're there but they're not imposing or anything and after we've done that we'll just you know get that lined up again so that's perfect that is one part of the puzzle complete to create the next part of the puzzle which is the part of the puzzle that the child will fill in we just need to select all of the elements group them together just so we can move them about without you know, fear of dislodging them and then we're going to copy and paste so with both selected control C control V and just pull this new one to where you want it now with this part of the puzzle we want to remove all of the image apart from one or two squares and the easiest way to do this is to select all of the internal grid go to table design go to fill and fill it white you know now the image has disappeared in inverted commas it hasn't disappeared it's just hidden behind the white cells to create one or two of them visible again you just select the ones you want go back to the fill option 
and choose no fill there you go you can if you want to reveal just one square or two three four whatever the more you reveal the less the child has to do so the easier it becomes another option is to select one of the cells you want to reveal go to fill effects and change the transparency so by having it at 50 percent you can see part of the image but the child's still got a trace around it it's another option make the puzzle just a little bit different and that's it really there's nothing else to it you can make as many puzzles as you have images you could have different numbers of cells so this is a five by five you could make it smaller and make it larger have it as big as you need so that is it for today's video thanks for watching and i shall see you next time